Happy Arvo. Welcome back. Hello. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to check out Carl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that doing? I'm checking out Carl Van Baron. Carl Baron. Okay. At Just for Laughs. I guess it's some kind of comedy show thing. I don't know. But he's an Aussie comedian, so... Or, um, Aussie. Let's watch. All right, folks. Carl Barron is one of the fastest rising comedy stars out of Australia. You know Australia, right? They gave us men at <laughs> you know work and uh, Olivia Newton-John. You know Australia. Well, they sent us this guy to make up for it. So please welcome Carl Barron. Australia is not that obscure. Okay, we know it. You know, hey, gum. What's um? What? What's he? Hi, gum. At the front, looking at myself in the shop window. Do you do that? You pretend you're looking at something in the shop window, but actually you're just looking at your own reflection. I haven't spent enough time in the city to relate. Sit there, gum. That's a nice sofa bed. <laughs> Oh, I felt good. I got complimented today. Makes me feel good when I get complimented. It was only from the phone company. <laughs> Still, out of the blue, they ring me up and go, Mr. Barron, you've got an outstanding account. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for noticing. No one else does. And the air hostess on the plane, you ever been asked this before? She come up to me and went, would you care for an orange juice? I said, if it needed me. <laughs> I, uh, I went into a, I went into a shop that I half the half the humor is just his expression, his deadpan look in his eyes. I had one of those signs <laughs> on the on the wall. We don't Thank accept God. checks. To avoid embarrassment, please do not ask. On the wall, we don't accept checks. To avoid embarrassment, please do not ask. But what's so embarrassing about that? What, you ever seen him walk in a shop and go, yeah, g'day mate, how you going? Do you take checks? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassed. <laughs> a stupid sign. When, when you go for a drive down the coast, there's all the heaps of wildlife in Australia. See all these signs all everywhere? Koalas crossing, but you never see any. I wait for them. I expect to see them on the side of the road going like this. <laughs> Not one. There's a sign in Queensland. Queensland's up the north of Australia. In Queensland's known for people being a bit slow and stupid. That's where I come from. There's a sign up there that says koalas cross from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. <laughs> That's pretty precise for a koala. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a sign, I'm not, I'm not joking, it says injured wildlife, phone this number. I'd like to see that. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, mate, I'm a kangaroo. <laughs> Some dickhead ran me over. <laughs> Well, I'm a bit grey and flat, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait here. I got, uh, I got my driver's licence back the other day. I never get a good picture of my driver's licence. You get it back and think, what happened? <laughs> I don't remember posing like that. I think they got some special machine there that makes it look like a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's a little true. button on the floor. Smile, huh? <laughs> <laughs> It's like they have the worst cameras and the worst lighting there. My picture this year, I'm looking up. Right up there, that's something you always do when you get your photo. Smile, wait a minute. <laughs> my cheeks are sucked in because I was going through one of my vegetarian phases. There's this mark on my head looks like a bullet hole. I look dead, my picture looks like this. <laughs> that's my ID for five years. If I go out somewhere, they go, you got ID, mate? Oh, shit, here. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, hang on.
I appreciate how pure, like, uh, I don't know, family friendly, I guess, this humor is. It's very just like funny. There's no, uh, and he's not even like making fun of anybody, you know, it's not even offensive. And I have no problem with offensive comedy, but this is just like pure. You ever burp with your mouth shut? You only go on a date and you get a burp and you don't want to burp in front of your date? You think I'll just burp with my mouth shut? Doesn't go away. <laughs> Ends up coming out somewhere it's not supposed to. You done those little Coca-Cola burps that come out your nose and your eyeballs? <laughs> Thinking shit, his head's gonna explode. Well, you know, sometimes people talk and when they talk, they get a yawn, they try and hide their yawn, they keep talking, they think they've hidden it from us. <laughs> hmm, that's attractive. <laughs> you know, some of my friends talk to me. We've and all been there, especially when someone's saying something super boring and you're trying to pretend like you're not. You're not, you're on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's. They, they talk and then they get a yawn and they keep talking, and, and, and we're supposed to understand the yawn words. Oh, JJ, it'd be pretty good if you could just get around a little bit right to What? You <laughs> say that again? You know, sometimes you're talking to somebody and a little bit of spit comes out of your mouth yeah. and it lands on them. <laughs> and you both see it happen because you both go, Whoop. You're thinking, whoops, I got him. And he's thinking, whoops, he got me. <laughs> but no one says anything. Because <laughs> it's a secret. If it lands on me, I don't wipe it straight away. Because I don't want him to get embarrassed. <laughs> hey, I've got his spit on my face. The Aussies are so considerate. Yes. I appreciate that. I'm worried about his feelings. <laughs> This is really hard to react to, to be honest. I, I have nothing to say. I'm just enjoying his, his act. You know, I sit at home all day and I don't fart once. I go on a date and I've got 20 in the bank straight away. Oh, so where do they come from? You don't let them out. They still happen in here. There's internal noise. I never understood what people mean when they say they don't let them out. Like, I, that's not an option for me. In here, there's internal noise. <laughs> but I still make those noises. Is that me or you? Like, are you? <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do those secret farts at the supermarket and quickly piss off into the aisle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, it's mine. <laughs> My friends. I like how they say piss off to it. Now, like people here in America would only say that to someone else. Like piss off. You know, you tell someone to piss off. You wouldn't say that you pissed off. My friends in Queensland like to tell me before they're going to fart like it's important or something. <laughs> yeah, but they get excited. Oh, geez, I've got to fart. <laughs> or they tell you after they've done it. I just farted. <laughs> no one ever tells you while they're doing it. That. That'd be a bit weird going, I'm farting. <laughs> <laughs> think I think I got my underpants on back at the front. You ever do that? You got the big bit at the front? You think, shit, am I shrinking or what? Well, it's extra room. What's going on? You seen people when they when they scratch their bum in the street? They always get on one tiptoe and they look down. And they look Making really, it way too obvious. really serious when they're doing it too. They're happy, walk long way, start scratching, they get all serious. <laughs> you know why? Because if you're laughing at a good time, that'll look worse. We <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> need to stop. <laughs> oh, a bit of guy. That's messed up. I've got a guy. The lights on. I used to be a roof tile before I did this for 13 years. He said he used to be a roof tile. I used to be a roof tile before I did this for 13 years. 
It's a shit job. <laughs> I remember on the first day I thought, this is a shit job. <laughs> thought I'd give it 13 years. <laughs> See if it comes good. No, still shit at the end. <laughs> Just before I go, I'll tell you, uh, this girl the other night come up to me in the bar after a gig. Didn't know her. She goes, excuse me. I said, what? She goes, you know what? I said, no. Nah. She said, you've got no ass." I said, thanks. She didn't say it was small or flat. She said, you've got no ass." So I farted. <laughs> I said, where do you think that come from? Thanks a lot. See you later. Australia's best right there. Wow. <laughs> that was good. I enjoyed that. He makes some really funny expressions. I like this guy. <laughs> He's very just like straightforward. Very like deadpan, I guess. Well, that guy was funny. And he was Australian, so hey, it fits on the channel, right? Well, I had fun. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. I react to stuff from Australia every weekday on this ch here channel. So... Well, you already knew that. If you sat through this video, then I think you already knew that. <laughs> I'm looking into opening a P.O. box. I think it would be fun to like live stream some mail openings if anybody wanted to send me something. I know people have left comments saying they want to send me stuff. Anyway, I'll let you know if I do that, which should, hopefully that's today. <laughs> Have a fantastic Carville, and goodbye.